Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into the mukbang with Muzelk, a Muzelk mukbang, mukbang with Muzelk, I thought I'd let you guys know that today's video is brought to you by Aporto. Now I've worked with Aporto before in the past. Last year we did the mukbang with Ilsa. Aporto is encouraging their customers like myself to take part in Veganuary. Vegan January. Veganuary. They've got the vegan wrapper, they've got the vegan burger, a vegan salad, and I don't want to give away too much, but it's some of the best damn food I have ever had. They've also got some vegan sides like the Portuguese tomato salad and chips. Oh my god, my mouth is is watering just thinking about it, okay? So head to your local store and give the vegan menu a try. If you can't get to your local Aporto, don't worry, I got you. You can get everything on the menu via your favorite delivery apps, Uber Eats, Menulog, Deliveroo, and DoorDash. Okay, that's enough from me. Let's just get into the video. We gotta spill some tea, all right? So we're gonna try some food. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna answer some questions. I just wanna eat some food, to be completely honest. When do you even actually, start? I actually don't know where to start. I, this, I've never done a mukbang before. This is my really? first ever mukbang. This Aww. is overwhelming. Cute. And whenever I watch mukbangs, I'm in awe. I'm gonna you try one of these. You eat all of it. That's a um, jalapeno popper. Which... Okay, are they? I, is this? I don't know if this is a dumb question. Are they spicy? One second. A little bit of bite, but not really. Okay. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. That's no. not spicy. Think... I'm a little with spice. Get off my back. If you think that's spicy, you got something wrong with you. What is the most important belonging to Muzelk? Most treasured possession. What is it? You talk, I'm eat. You talk, I mean. Oh my you god. Talk. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Is this the vegan one or the Wait, vegan? what's your most treasured possession? My dogs. I don't have a dog. Food? Food's pretty good. Food's pretty good. No. No, you, you buy expensive things, surely. My like... gaming setup. Or the watch my grandparents got me. You said gaming setup before that? You should have said the watch the- Oh my god, Elliot, that is- Okay, ridiculous. okay, fine. The watch, the watch, the watch, the watch, the watch. I'm excited, because this is the veggie burger. Why did I just pat it like it was a dog? <laughs> this is the veggie Holy burger. Holy crap, this has got some sauce on it, dude. Yeah, they always do, mate. It's awesome. We're eating good! I'm gonna be so full after this. I have to try and work after this. I'm not gonna be able to record. You're welcome. I keep going back for more. I'm just like, I know that I have to eat all mm. of this, but it just tastes damn good. You don't have to ask the questions. We could just eat. Sitting and eating in Porto for 10 minutes straight with no words. I'm just silent chewing. <laughs> with like ASMR. an ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> First realization that you were famous. That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think there's ever like a point where you're like, oh, I wasn't, but now I am. Mm. But I remember like the first time when people started to like, you'd be like walking around the shops and someone would be like, hey bro. Mm. You'd be like, okay, that's kind of cool. I think mine was like PAX, like I, a convention where there's like yeah, concentrated amount of people. Yeah, and people are like people. coming up to you. And you get swarmed and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I think the first time I felt really like out of my depth in, in the sense of like, I was in a, I remember all these situations early on and I was like big in Australia, which meant that like Ubisoft and companies would like send me overseas because they didn't have anyone else they could go to. I'd get to these events overseas and I'd be like hanging out there, all these big YouTubers that I'd like grown up watching. I don't know, I felt like such an imposter being in those situations. That's what I was it like, is. I don't belong here. I don't think I feel famous at all. It's internet fame, it's different. I don't know, when I think about like famous people that I meet, I'm, I'm always like, I'm always like, oh, well, like it's, it's that person. Whenever someone comes up to you and is like freaking out, I'm like, why are you freaking out? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like this is dumb. Like, <laughs> I'm literally just making YouTube videos in my bedroom. I literally get angry while playing Fortnite. What do you want? <laughs> okay. These are my favorite things out of the entire Porto menu. These are the crispy chicken strips and these are by far my favorite thing you can buy on the Porto menu. I literally get eight of them with two garlic sauces when I'm slightly hungover. <laughs> it's good feed, dude. This is the first bit of salad I've eaten in 10 years. Really? No, I eat salad all the time. I'm healthy, all right? Okay, sorry. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah? That sauce is really good. I knew that this was gonna be a question that was gonna be constantly asked. Is it weird that your brother is dating Elliot's sister? I always find that question so funny. So I think ultimately, the only thing you really care about when it comes to your siblings and like dating people is you want to make sure they're dating someone who's like a decent human, a decent person. Of all the people, Lannan's like one of the nicest people I know. Has a pretty, uh, pretty decent job, you know, financially secure. Makes a couple of YouTube <laughs> videos, couple of YouTube dollars, and then also like I don't know, he's got like a pretty, uh, a pretty strong family kind of code, which is important. Yeah. Do you remember the um the click party when they met? We saw them flirting, and me, you, and Grace all just like huddled up together, and we're like, we all good with this? Yep. Okay, cool. And then we're like, we're fine with this, guys. I remember there was pool club, like, which I think is when they first met. 
Because I no, took they met at the party. They met at the click party. They she didn't come on the boat, but she met at the part at the house after. That's where they first met. Oh, and then we went to pool yeah, club the yeah, week yeah. after. We went to pool club the week yeah. after. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I want to try the vegan burger because I feel like this is what we came here for. Ooh, what did you think of Muzok when you first met him? That is a good question. Confident, impressive. I thought you were loud, which you are, I'm but I'm also, I'm also loud, so it's fine. Sorry, what? What'd you say? Huh? Vegan burger? Like slaps. Not even joking. Like Balloon burger slap. The veggie patties that they use are just hit differently, you know? Do you want to look through some questions? You can... Oh, I can interview myself? Well, maybe there's um, some... I don't know, so I it's not just me one. interviewing you the whole time. What is it that is your secret to being so handsome? Well, it's just my skin. I don't think that's what it said, No, it was dude. definitely I don't think there. that's what it said. I actually I just deleted the photo, okay. but it was there. How are my yeah. teeth <laughs> so white? I have like... The least white teeth ever. Mine got Maybe stained. That's about me. Mine got stained by antibiotics when really? I was a kid. Yeah, see how really? I have lines on them? Mm -hmm. Basically, I took antibiotics as like I think when I was like super super young, and it like did something to my teeth that they have like lines down them. What's it like not to have a diamond play button? Pretty fing hard. I'm I also don't lie. have one either. But I'm so close! Where are you but at? Man, now? I'll probably never get I'm like 9.5. Five. No, you just need American. It's, you know what it's like? It's like when you're downloading something and you always know it's gonna get like 95% loaded and then it's gonna be like, <laughs> no, we're slowing down. You'll get there. I believe in you. Somebody just says, how was your day? How is your day? Well, I got early access to Cyberpunk. Well, I got like a week early, so I've just been playing it. It's really fun. Oh my God, are you a gamer? Oh my God, there's chocolate mousse. Yes, there's chocolate mousse and there's churros and I am excited. Are you kidding me? Salted caramel dip. Salted oh. caramel dip. Listen, okay, I got a food baby. It's brewing, and uh, it's there's always lot. there's always room for more, dude. Wait, that was a question, right? Yeah, how was your day? Yeah, cyberpunk. Good. Now I get free food. So honestly, early access to cyberpunk, free lunch. Can't really complain. Honestly, dude. If you had a chance to redo your life, would you both still do YouTube? Yeah. I wouldn't change a thing, dude. We got it too good. <laughs> we say eating. Yeah, I was like, I'll sponsor <laughs> a porno lunch after. <laughs> I played the most desired game of the year a week early. <laughs> We're just sitting here flexing. Okay, Liv, I don't know why you put this one in here. Help Tana find a man, she's desperate. We need her to stop crying for having no one. Why did you put that in there? Why get a man when you have... Chocolate mousse! Chocolate mousse! Yes. This will fill the emotional hole. What's your favorite video you've ever recorded? And probably one of like the real, I'm not saying they're like my best videos ever, but the really no, yeah, old. It doesn't have to be your best video ever. The really old like TF2 ones that I did, like there was one called Muselk's Bakery. But back at that time, I was getting like 50,000 views a video, maybe like 20,000 views a video. And I posted a 20 second, that was just like the dumbest joke ever. And it's currently on like 2 million views, I'm pretty sure. What's your most viewed video? It's so bad. What is it? It's like the worst video I've ever made. I think it's called like Musol Trap Tunnel. It's the most embarrassing video ever. But that just tells you that you never know what's gonna pop off. We literally like, it was like, I wanna build like this little like race course in Fortnite Creative and then we go through it. And then we did it. And everyone was like, oh dude, like that was like, that was just so scuffed. Like that was such like, not, I don't think that was good content. Like we're probably not gonna post it. But like, I wanted to make that thumbnail so bad with like the person going down the you tunnel. You didn't care what the video. I know, I was like, I know the content sucks, but like I'm gonna post it because I really like the thumbnail. One out of 10, baby. Oh, One out dude. of 10. Anyone that tells you you need to make quality content to succeed on YouTube is a goddamn liar. And that's the thing, hey, it's like the ones that you put in the effort are usually yep. the ones that are 10 out of 10s. Exactly. We've suffered that a couple of times. <laughs> Feels bad. Is it hard to produce videos every day and still have to do things outside of filming? That's why we hire editors and people to help <laughs> yeah okay but you know what I realized I realized like I went too far in that direction because like the last four years mm -hmm. YouTube was like so all-consuming and so time-consuming like I didn't have a life outside of doing videos it was just recording editing like all the time all the time all the time all the time then all of a sudden I got like editors Fortnite started to become a lot more like formulaic and I had all this extra free time but then like I didn't have anything to fill it, mm. if you know what I mean? Because I hadn't like built out like hobbies and stuff over the past five years. My hobby, like everything was just YouTube. So now I'm at this weird point where I'm like, oh my God, I need to find like hobbies. But like, otherwise I'm literally just like sitting there, like watching something on the couch or being like, all right, like I'll go out, you know? And like, I want something a bit more like productive. 
Oh, all right, I think I'm gonna call it there because we have well and truly eaten as much as physically possible. Okay, I did. Oh, look, English does such a poor job. I, okay, mukbangs. Mukbangs are hard. They are hard, all right? I have eaten every single thing here and I, yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed every little bit of it. I actually am very impressed by the veggie and vegan range. Did you try, you tried the salad. The salad I like that one. That dressing, dude. Oh, yeah. oh my God. But the burgers, I'm here for it. I wouldn't have even noticed, to be honest. All I gotta say is I thoroughly enjoyed the veggie and vegan range and I think you guys should go and try it as well. I, I am very very impressed. I mean I'm very easily pleased with food. I enjoyed every little bit of it so. I loved it. I think that was that was actually probably my favorite one. Please subscribe to my channel. And, and please subscribe and to my channel. He's only 500,000 yeah? God that sounds like a lot. Thanks for recording with me Elliot. I'm never coming back.